Hi, and welcome to Core 5 Acupressure. I wanted to share some self-care tools. Uh, I've been practicing Jin Shin Jitsu for a long time now, 28 years or more. And uh, Jin Shin Jitsu is a Japanese art uh, that was also an Indian art and a Chinese art and has changed name uh, with the essential... Um, principles and the physio philosophy being maintained throughout thousands of years. Brought forward by Mary Burmeister through the teachings of Jiro Murai, and I'm internally grateful. So I wanted to share with you today, I am a student. Uh, this is a tool gift that I'm sharing today as a student to a student, and i um, Certainly there are teachers of Jin Shin Jitsu should you choose to pursue that uh, magnificent art in a more formal manner. This is a gift uh, from me to you today uh, and offering to my clients and to others who wish to uh, elevate their own vibration in their own way. So in Jin Shin Jitsu, there's some basic principles. We've talked about that before, but it's a matter of harmonizing, and we do that in many ways. One way is by dropping the shoulders and settling in, focusing our attention on the exhale down the front of the body, recognizing that there's that drain of energy down the front that extends beyond the feet, and the innate gift, that in-breath energy that connects to all that is above, above the crown, in that in-breath, we're drawing that energy down towards the heart center, again, where the exhale begins. And as the drain occurs, the energetic gift from the universe just fills the empty space, and we rejuvenate and restore and revitalize and harmonize. Today, I wanted to talk a bit about some self-care tools that would be quick to support the umbilicus function energy. It's a deep and profound energy that connects us to our source, helps us to clear um, ancestral wounds and also helps us just to connect more deeply with our um, spiritual, psychic, and powerful selves. So we're going to begin that process today by holding the shoulder and we're crossing over. So in my case right now, I'm going to take a moment to check in first and um, it feels like I want to take my right hand to my left shoulder but you can do uh, either way, just reverse the flow. So I'm going to take this and make a bit of a, a hook with my uh, index, middle, and ring finger and go in to that meaty section of the shoulder, just right in here. I'm holding gently, dropping in. Always exhaling, dropping in, finding a comfortable position if you're seated or laying down. Index, middle, and ring. Again, we're going to cross over the back of the neck. And there's the spine, then the center of the neck, just go on the far side, and index, middle, and ring, and rest that. And here we go. So I'm going to find a comfortable position. I might even put my feet up here in the chair. And I'm going to settle in. Exhale. Drop the shoulders. This will be more comfortable and possible. Uh, for some and uh, maybe less so so for others so if you find that you are only able to hold this position for a few breaths it's fine you're making a connection of positive and negative charge exhale down the front of the body here we go Jin Shin Jitsu supporting the umbilicus function energy <sighs> there's so much that's involved with that um, any body issues or any uh, accumulation below the waist and hope opening up the hips and supporting uh, the limbs, <sighs> supporting so many aspects of the body. It's going to be good for relieving any uh, tinnitus, so ringing in the ears throat issues, it's a temperature regulator. Ultimately, it's a descending function energy down the front, supporting the exhale. That 
disappear with that. Connecting us to the sixth depth, as we talked about, the outer body, the connection with source, the place where it all begins, the deep and profound feeling, the outer world. This is going to help with clearing rheumatism and joint pain. Again, generally supporting the body, any projects that are existing within the body, anything that's a discomfort in the physical will be supported by nurturing the spiritual and the connection with the sixth depth. Exhaling down the front of the body, clearing out, draining. And when I hold these spots, I'm waiting until I can feel a pulse that feels like a blood pulse, and it's just an energetic experience that I'm sensing underneath my fingertips. Ideally, I'd like to have an even pulse present and a similar pulse rhythm between my left and my right hands. They're creating a jumper cable experience with the energetics um, and electromagnetics probably um, with the body. Exhaling down the front. more breaths here and we'll move on to the next step. We're connecting with energy safety locks. That's the name that's given to each of these spots on the body and it's spherical and two inches wide and deep. So there's really no chance that you could be in the wrong place as long as you've crossed over the neck and you're on the far side. So in this case this is my left arm and it's on my right center of the neck, the right 12. And that's about willing to will thy will, an experience of surrendering to the surrender, and maintaining the position on the shoulder, dropping in, relaxing the shoulders as we release the burden of the day, the hub of life. Okay, and I'm able to sense some energetic movements manifesting a pulse, pulsation under my fingertips on both my right and my left fingers. So now I'm going to move, I'm going to maintain my position on the shoulder and take this left hand and go to the right 20, which is above the eye, helps with clear sight, clear vision. My arm's getting tired, so I'm going to find a way to be more comfortable. Leaning on my knee, exhaling. I can do this because my feet are up. But maybe you're laying down and you can prop your arm up on a pillow. The most important thing is that you're able to feel a softening through the face, through the belly, through the shoulders, exhaling. It's for focus draining energy down the front of the body. Hmm. And if you're able to maintain the hold, that's wonderful. And even if you're only able to stay in these energetic sites for uh, three breaths, I think that's a good goal. And you can always come back to it any time you like. Okay. All right. And I've done a lot of Jin Jin Jitsu today, so my pulses are coming in pretty quick. But it could be that it just takes um, an hour. You know, you could just come back to this over and over again until you can feel a stirring. There's no right, there's no wrong, there's no timeline. 
When I first began Jinshin Jitsu, it took me years to be able to treat myself. I don't know, there's some kind of resistance to it, which is really common and interesting. And in addition to that, it took a long time for me to feel and sense the um, energetic pulse sensation under my fingers. So if it doesn't come right away, that's not unusual. So just make your connection. <sighs> drop down, drop the shoulder. All right. So this is good for overall bar body harmony, and it's good for um, connecting with your sacred self and clearing out the obstacles that exist uh, within yourself, the places where it's hard to let go. Ancestral pain, places where you've... Um, you know, there may not be a full direct understanding about what you're clearing, and that's totally fine. But it's clearing, and it's making room for the exhales that will come. All right, I'm going to move on maintaining the connection with the shoulder. I'm going to go to the center of the neck, but this time on the same side as the shoulder. So I'm going to the spine and then coming over and settling in. Again, this is center of the neck. So will to wills I will. It's about surrendering to the surrender. Dropping down, allowing the experience to soften your shoulders, soften your face, soften through the brow, remembering that that's a descending energy function down from the heart center towards the belly. <sighs> softening through the belly, softening through the pelvis. Bringing freedom to the limbs as best you can, exhaling down and through beyond the feet. And that exhale, of course, has made room, and behind that exhale comes the flow of energy, effortless, like a waterfall cascading down over the face. And that's your innate gift from the universe that you've accumulated on the inhale. Exhale, drains, inhale, receives, and you continue that cycle again and again, softening through, dropping the shoulders, feeling the smile, the softer. <sighs> this is a time, deep and profound change, connection with your spirit self, recognizing the power that manifests in the physical when we can repair the connection with the outer body. The place that we may not fully conceive of, but the place from which we are conceived. This is the umbilicus function energy. Exhale. And I have my thumb here, it's just really not touching my neck, it's just resting on my collarbone. Right. Connecting deeply through my breath, exhaling down the front. And that inhale is just a gift. Extends up the back, from the below the feet, above the crown, in through the face to the chest. Focusing on the exhale down the front. And as it moves through the head, we're clearing the ears, draining through the face, softening through the belly. Let the pelvis right becomes left and left becomes right. It'll do it on its own without direction, exhaling beyond the feet. Draining down and through, filling with that innate gift, the energetic realm that we've received previously through the in breath follows the out breath, revitalizing, restoring, replenishing, renewing harmony. All right. Stay as long as you like in any of these positions. Do the first section there with the shoulder and the opposite neck, and that's enough, or find your way all the way through if you have the 15 minutes. All right, grab and go. Thanks for joining me.
four, five acupressure.